hey you guys welcome back or welcome to my channel hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful life of course in today's video i'm going to be giving my og steam deck another well-deserved makeover now i decided on an all-white look before the release of the new white oled steam deck came out and i was contemplating on upgrading to that one and just gifting this one to my brother as a christmas gift but i think i'll just give him my rogue ally instead it's been collecting dust and money ain't money right now video on that later in the future now there was nothing wrong with the way that it looked but i needed something new and it was just looking a little bit too bland and i needed to add my personality on it a little bit more so i got this case a while back from mo molly it has been serving me well but i wasn't able to use my original steam deck dock that was another reason why i decided to get a skin again now this isn't a tutorial on how to apply a skin but i do have some pointers as someone who has experience with applying one on different devices first things first make sure to wipe down the device using alcohol wipes i personally love matte skins for my steam deck because it has a better grip since these aren't really case friendly whenever you apply a skin. The tools that you'll need to make this process a bit quicker are nail rhinestone pickers, tweezers, a hot air gun, and patience. Lots and lots of patience. This will take you 40 minutes to an hour minimally. The front part is always the easiest part for me so I always start there. I had to reapply the skin on the back twice because it wasn't even or I didn't align it well on the grips. You won't only need to apply heat before applying but also in different sections once you apply it onto the device. You'll then go with the rhinestone picker to smooth the wrinkles or bubbles down. And remember, slow and steady wins the race. As always, I'll include links down below in the description box, especially if you want your own custom trackpad stickers. Here is how it looks like with all the decals applied. It's not perfect, but I was getting frustrated with the back, so I called it a freaking day. I also got some extra goodies from playvital.com. I really only used the back button cover, so I didn't have that much black showing from the device. As always, I gotta add some embroidered heart stickers that fit better than the last one I had applied. I found some extra cute accessories to add on that fit the JJK theme I was going for. I'm kind of mentally preparing myself for the new season next year so i had to give my babies their respect i'll be doing a nanami mini tab makeover so don't worry i didn't forget about my other husband there's cuter cases than the case that valves gives out with each steam deck purchase but i honestly trust this one more and you can always add patches and charms like i did i took this on vacation i just came back from and yes it's big and bulky i don't have to worry about it being thrown around and breaking on me feels like you're holding a mini briefcase sometimes too so that could either be a plus or a con <laughs> Let me know down below in the comments what y'all think about the finished look. She looks so freaking pretty. Now I'm going to give a sort of quick overview on my modded Steam Deck. For the boot logo, I changed it to make it look like a DS. Who knows where the sound is from? I'll show y'all where it's from, but I want to see if a certain fandom will know right away. I had to download Decky Loader into it via the desktop of this console. I linked the video I used to help me set everything up. It's really simple and quick. You don't have to be tech savvy to be able to do it. When you open up the quick settings tab, everything should be found down below. Once you go through the store and download any plugins you want. I kept mine really simple. The first thing I downloaded was Vibrant Deck, which has helped me not upgrade to the OLED since this one works perfectly fine. The colors look more vibrant and games look more beautiful. The animation changer is where you can change up the boot logo to your liking. There's so much to choose from, so you might spend a hot little minute finding the one. Next is the CSS loader where you can change up the look of the home screen and icons. I also downloaded Emudeki, but I haven't really tested it out yet.
lastly, audio loader is one of my favorite features because it creates an ambiance when you're scrolling through your library. When I click around, go back, etc., it recreates sounds from Animal Crossing New Horizons, so it sounds like I'm playing it. For the background music, I had to go with the Wii Pack because the sound is too goaded and nostalgic for me not to use it. So here are some of the games I've been playing and some movies I just bought on the big sale Valve just had. I spent a lot of time playing Fields of Mysteria on camera so I ran out of time to try out Coffee Caravan like I wanted to but I can always record a cozy gaming vlog if y'all would want to watch it. I've been playing this game a lot recently and it's got me hyped because of the new update. It's just like Stardew Valley but prettier, has more dialogues, customizations and you can ride different cute animals plus you can even swim in the water to fish. I haven't played much of After Image, but it's kind of like Metroid Dread, but with a sword and magic. Also, just in case anyone is wondering, yes, you can play games like Genshin, Honkai, and many other gacha games on the Steam Deck, but personally, I don't play those type of games anymore. I'll link down below Rainy's video of her trying out said games on her OLED Steam Deck for a reference.
I personally like playing Minami Lane with a mouse, but the keypad still works well and it also allows touch control when you need to move or scroll around. There's different cozy towns in need of assistance, just follow the mission and listen to the town folk. So this last one is a new cozy game that hasn't been released yet, but I wanted to test out the free demo for y'all. In this game, you're running a cute bobo cafe where you meet cute animals and it has a bit of rhythm based quote unquote cooking to it. I'm kind of indecisive if I do want to get this game once it comes out or not because it is a cute game and I do love the gameplay of it, but it's not entirely my cup of tea. Let me know if any of you guys are thinking of getting, of either upgrading to the OLED Steam Deck or if you're thinking of getting your very first Steam Deck. I honestly think this is the best handheld console out till this day. There's so much you can do and I barely even touch the surface when it comes to me using this device. Well, that's gonna be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching another cozy-ish session with me. Please stay safe and take care of yourselves. See you on the next one. Deuces.